Today, in part 4 of our 10-part series on switching from the PC to the Mac, we're going to look at basic window functions. Now, the application windows have the same basic function in the windows as they do on the Mac. They're just controlled a little bit differently. So in order to show you these differences, I have a Windows XP virtual machine loaded here in VMware Fusion, and I have the Mac program TextMate loaded here with a document. So in Windows, to maximize a program, you click here on the top, in the square and it maximizes. To restore the program back to its original size you click in the same area takes it back. To minimize it you click the minus sign and then to close the program you click the red X in the corner. On the Mac it's fairly similar. You click the green button to maximize. To restore it back to where it was you click the green button again. To minimize the program you click the yellow button and to close the program, you click the red button. Now, on the PC, each program has its menus built in to the top of that program. So you can scroll through the menu bar and see the functions of that program. That's not true on the Mac. On the Mac, the program's bar is up in the top in the taskbar. So I have TextMate highlighted so the TextMate menu is visible. If I switch to VMware Fusion, the VMware Fusion menu is at the top. So it toggles back and forth depending on what program you want to highlight. Another factor between the Mac and the PC that many people aren't aware of is that both platforms are basically designed so that you can use them without a mouse through the use of command keys. And so to just touch on this a little bit, in Windows, in say Firefox or Internet Explorer, you can open a new tab, a new window, by hitting Control-T. And you can close that same tab by hitting Control-W. On the Mac, you can open a new window by hitting Command-N, and you can close it by hitting Command-W. On the PC, you can use Alt F4 to close a program, and on the Mac, you can use Command Q. So in this particular area of Windows and window management, the Mac and the PC are relatively similar. And that concludes Part 4.